Jack, the land of Hyrule is murky and brown, and you know what yeah. that means. It means oh, we're doing we're doing a demons are afoot. Don't call them that. They're this of the Twilight Realm. That's racist. Oh, sorry. So I once again, a boy, we've been at this for a long time. I think I looked back on our previous streams, and like part four or five of this was a year ago. We have been, it, the thing is, is with this game is that it hits kind of like the uh, the uh, mediocrity valley for me. Yeah, because well, um, we were talking about it before the stream, and we've talked about it on other streams, but uh, oh, we're going, we're rolling around in the snow. Uh, yeah, I guess we're here again. Whereas Majora is like dark in a way that is kind of fascinating to look at and weird for the sake of it. This one's more, like, realistic. It's just sad. It's sad. It's, like, a sad game, and, uh, I don't know about anybody else, but for me, like, I don't... I can't do... We met... Well, uh, okay. Well, in, in our time, yes, actually, it has been a long time. Hello again, Mr. Yeti. I'm glad your wife is feeling better. Uh, we, we don't need to sled. Yes, I hate fun. If I did, if I hated fun, I'd love to know. Hey, how me. you doing? You make me race lots, huh? She looks like one of the Mario Odyssey creatures. Yeah. So, this... Actually, I, I will say that the last dungeon was pretty, was pretty interesting. Because it was just, like, the guy's house. I heard that was, eBay notification. Was that what... Wait, what? I, I don't oh. I don't use eBay. Oh oh no that's that's my ring that's my uh that's my text tone and then oh, okay. uh, my ringtone is a remix version of that that Death Grips produced for their uh, No Hands ARG. I don't know I just I like it, it it's got it I didn't want to use the default ringtones because the default ringtones on my new cell phone were crap. They just I I didn't like any of them. I could replace it with the porn notification if you want. I wouldn't know what that sounds like either. So I have no memory of where we were going. Once again, yeah. It is, it... <laughs> Any, okay, so well, you, you, you talk about it... something. I'll look this up. Okay, so uh, this guy, uh, Super Eye Patch Wolf, actually the same guy who you like watched the Garfield video on. You really liked. Yeah, he did a very a, well made documentary. He did a, the... a he did a, a shorter version, like a, a shorter uh, like video about talking about Riverdale. That CW show uh, based on the Archie comics verse. Yeah, and uh, he said that the first season was boring, but every season after the first was just completely fucking bizarre. <laughs> He's just describing like the insane shit that happens, and it's not good, but it's entertaining. It's like, and he described like a uh, a uncan like a like a, an uncanny valley. But for uh, but for shows where it's just the mediocrity valley, where if it's something really good, then it's really entertaining. If it's something really really bad, it's also really entertaining. But if it's like not good enough or not bad enough, it just sits in the middle, and you're just like, and you're just like not entertained by it. Yeah. And that's kind of how I feel with like characters. If if a character is just if it's too like if it's just a, a person. Yeah, then it's just like whatever. If it's a person that's just unpleasant, then it's just like an, an unpleasant person. If it's somebody like Chloe who's just <laughs> well, Chloe Bourgeois and miraculous, who is so over the top, just cartoony bitch with a capital B, it no, kind of it, it loops around, right? Yeah, it, it went to the other side of the uh, mediocrity valley to like be okay. Yeah, she's she's awesome. <laughs> Uh, that being said, I'm disappointed that she had no character development, but honestly, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know if I would like her. I think if I, if she was more likable, she'd probably go back to being boring in the, in the mediocrity valley. Yeah. You find, find out where we're going? Uh, well, I was reminded to, I, I read Telma something, so I'll go back to the bar. Yeah, I the bar is forgetting that's like our place to go between chapters. Yeah, this is the thing is we're too used to like uh, going from one to the other without any kind of help, but uh, but I forget that this is a flag based uh, like uh, gaming system now. I just I this isn't Zelda games aren't games that I consider going back to frankly between chapters for. No, no, I, I'd rather. 
You know, the thing is, is that Metroid also did something like this, uh, later games, where they would have, like, a... There's that they weird would, fucking the, door. But they would, but they would spread out, like, the rooms to, like, let you know, hey, and they would just have, like, points on the mini-map, and Fusion did that in a really, like, inconvenient way, but, uh... But Metroid Zero Mission, the remake of the original Metroid, actually did it in a way where it's like, yo, here, what's here? I don't know. And then Prime, of course, if you're just lost and wandering, then eventually the computer's just like, just like, hey, this area seems interesting. Just like a gentle nudge, not like a actual like, hard. Did you hear about uh, the God of War creator playing oh, no. a Metroid game? He got stuck in, like, one of the first rooms of the tutorial and, like, spent... I don't know, three hours there, then called it bad game design. And the guy who created... Was it original God of War, or...? Original. Okay, okay. not not uh, not God of War PS4. Yeah, I, I think. I don't have a stake in either of these series, so... What, what, what Metroid game was he playing? I, th I think it was Super Metroid. It might have been Metroid Dread. It was one of the 2D ones. Okay, if I don't know exactly... I played I played both of those. Dread I actually liked, um, I, I because they they updated like the controls to make it more like you could actually aim with the left stick now while yeah. while, while you played. That was I like that. I like I like it when games like decide to make stuff more user friendly. I think the point being called out specifically was that uh, in Metroid you have to blow up walls that look exactly like every other wall. Oh yeah. Um, that's why bombs are, are become like so important early game because uh, you use those to check to see what uh, what is needed to uh, blow up. Uh... Yeah, I don't really like that about uh, original Zelda or about Binding of Isaac. Just having to educated guess. guess what walls can be bombed. Yeah, this work is frustrating, and I can see where people go with that. And it encourages like more inquisitive people to explore. And uh, with Binding of Isaac. It's it's like a calculated, I it's a calculated risk because I know which which uh, walls they're talking about. I like how we're just not even reading anymore. Or are you just? No, I'm, from... We're we're kind of on we're on a tangent. Also, hello, Darian. I'm not I'm not ignoring you. Hey, Darian. I can't see the chat. I it's chat. So I'm sorry. Since we're playing this again, fun fact: Midna has English dialogue. It's just jumbled up for the dialogue in this game. Well, English. Oh. It's. A, a Japanese voice actress doing her best English. Yeah. Okay, you order that meat. I like how everything is just proceeding as normal despite the fact the castle has been, like, phased out of time or whatever the fuck. Alright, battle plans. What is... Hold on, what's with this camera? Am I? Is my model physically leaning down? I'm moving forward yeah. when I you're look bowing, down. You're, you're bowing to this guy a lot, as if you. Please just, understand. <laughs> it's Japanese <laughs> Japanese bowing simulator. The only thing that can make it more realistic is if you do the dajima, where you just go and like genuflect in like that certain way. You know, people With, have like, like the drawn... hands at the side. Yeah, you know, people have drawn or uh, they're at front actually, but uh, they're just li they're just knees are down. They're bowing their heads, and their hands are, like, in front. Oh, okay, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, and then, the super penitence bow. Yeah, the, 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 I'm really fucked up, this is how I show you I, I fucked up bow. Uh, except, uh, except people have, like, of course, you know, you got the, the, the fan artists, and they're like, hey, I got an idea to make this, like, to, like, the super penance bow, where you do the same thing. Except, except you, you have your clothes like all naked and stuff, and they're neatly folded. The people have actually drawn artwork of that. That that is yes, that is a category of images. Yeah. Naked Dojima, I think, is the tag. So I didn't get any useful information from these three who claim they want to restore Hyrule Castle as quickly as possible. Look, we can did you uh, look at the map. We can see how quickly they're all moving. Did you look at? I think it's like a map thing. You got to look at the map. Like last time, remember that that confused us as well. Or did? Wait. Oh, I can't interact. Seem to interact with the map on the table. Oh, oh there, there you go. Is. Only from one side of the table. Where are we going? Wonder if the sacred grove that who who? Okay. Is it the water temple now? We're gonna go to the sacred grove. I, I guess. Haven't we been there before? 
At some and point, probably. I can't believe they would make us go to the Lost Woods twice. What a chore. So, apropos of nothing, if Link was a pro wrestler, what kind of style do you think he'd, uh, he'd be implement? Well, it's easy to think he'd be like a cruiserweight because he's such a young, spry dude, but... Yeah. He's also... But when you take that, take aside, like, the context of his series, he's kind of typecast as, like, a, a slow dude who relies on equipment for everything. Yeah, so so he'd be, like, he'd be, like, a garbage hardcore wrestler, just, like, I got chairs, I got tacks, <laughs> and then... But he's... How, how do you do that while portraying him as a good guy is the question. Oh, fucking... You, you know how many hardcore wrestlers were, like, were, like, beloved Mick Foley... Like, the Mick Foley, like, uh, dynasty of him... Mankind and and Cactus Jack, they so, were all like the Tommy Dreamer was like was like really just like a working man's like a wrestler. He used like hardcore stuff. Terry Funk, so he's like a, a hero of the people hardcore wrestler. That's like oh yeah, yeah. He'd be the kind of guy that do, that like doesn't use a chair to like cheat, but like just but like uh, he wouldn't mind setting up a table on the outside and putting somebody through it. Mario, on the other hand, despite his like uh, being like being kind of stodgy and like fat, he'd be the cruiserweight dude. I've seen cruiserweights that don't like look slim, but they move like really fucking crazy. And look at and Mario, he can do the triple jump. <laughs> the dude can fucking fly over the ropes like nobody's business. WrestleMania, here we come. Let's -a go. It'd be Let's great because a go. It'd be great because yeah, I can imagine Mario cutting a promo and he just sounds like Bob Hoskins Mario or like or like the uh, Super Mario Super Show Mario. Who was that? Who's the wrestler? Lou, uh, Captain Lou, Lou Albano. Yeah, Captain Lou. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's like you you know Bowser. I've beaten you once before and I can do it again. And uh, and if and if y'all if and you Dennis all Hopper, think I can, he just stares. And then, and then he goes to the crowd. He's like, if you all think I can, say it with me. Let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, There's a. Oh, so we're going to the Sacred Grove, huh? I, I there, guess uh, that's where I was told to go. Yes, if, if if that's our character arc, then yes, we're going to the Sacred Grove. So I think this was a rumor or a leak, which I usually don't talk about, but I don't really give a shit for this kind of subject. There uh -huh. is supposedly a Legend of Zelda Illumina and Illumination movie also in the works. Oh, I've heard about I've heard about that. Uh, I, if they do it as a comedy again, then it's just like just do it. it that seems like the kind of thing that you get like uh, Gennady Tarkovsky to uh, to do. He'd be good at that. You just have like a link, just be silent. And Isn't it, uh, this is the dude who like spooked in the house before. Oh, I'm a wolf. Sorry. <sighs> no wonder he's spooked. Yeah, it should be a human. Give up their, you give up your evil ways and become a human. He, he's got blinders on. He can't see that far, right? Now the fog. The f he doesn't give a shit. The he dog of war. Uh, been a while since we took a walk in the forest, huh, Link? How our world has changed. Do we? Are we supposed to know him? Is he from Ordon? I think so. It's just like, hey, it's been a while, isn't it, Link? Do I know you? Oh yeah, he was in like the start of the game. They recognize you without the helmet. <clears throat> Heard of your brave act from Telma. I've known her circle of friends since my youth, and of late, we have begun to work toward a common goal. Yeah, and restoring Hyrule Castle from the ghost dimension. Isn't this the dude who was always... This is the father of, of like, the kids, I think. Yeah, probably. Probably right about that. I don't really... <laughs> I've... I, you have any idea how much I've checked? I... <sighs> I, I know you've checked out of this game. I've, I've kind of checked out a bit as well. Yeah. I don't want to drop it, though. We're this so far thing. in, and we're... If we keep at a pace of one temple per stream, I think we only have a few left. Yeah. yeah. We need to, to obtain the power of some ancient people. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. I mean... Yes, it will be hard, but you can do it. 
If only I had your courage and strength, Wait, bitch, I said, said no. no, right? And, and he's just kind of like proceeding as if you said yes? Ah, what a courageous youth you are. He just no-sold the fact that I rejected him. He's good at taking rejection. Yeah. Wish other people would say the same. Remember the decade-old rumor of the Zelda Netflix series? I, uh, that's new to me. Gathering, and, and I think they canceled that along with all the other video games Wizards of the Coast was working on. What a lovely cock. Gold, gold. It's mm. gold. It's gold. Uh, we doing go. this. Wait, do I have to jump from here? Uh, maybe. Let a go. Let. Wait, across the gorge? What? Not, because we've been here. This is the monkey temple or something. What does he mean across the gorge? Into what the gorge? gorge? This? This giant chasm? Uh, you should check the guide to see see what the fuck he's talking about. Cause something something ain't ain't adding up. I, I'm guessing like this way is where he wants us to go. So possibly. I don't know. That that We're... is an unexplored part of the map. Guide of vision. Can I like zoom the map in or something? Uh, from there, no. I don't know. I see, like, a little path going down. I just need to get down to it. This is some weird routing. Yeah, I guess, it's yeah. Dark and he's like, you can do it, Link! I bl oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. In hindsight, that was obvious, but uh, everything looks the same, so it's like... It's like I'm... that scene. It's like that scene in Indiana Jones where, uh, you know, what scene I'm talking about the third and last crusade, where, uh, where it's like a path, and he's like, I can't jump this. And he's like, Oh, I gotta do leap of faith, and he steps forward. It's kind of like that. What the fuck? How spin? Can I spin these? I don't remember. Uh. Uh. Here, let me. You sit down for a moment. He's not gonna move. What's my He's item well spot? Trained. He's a well trained cock. Ball uh, chain, spinner, hero's bow, iron boomerang. gale boomerang. That's what you need. Was it the gale's boomerang that talked to you? Once. It just kind of minds its own business now. You can target. Yeah. You can lock. And then, there you go. Chicken? Arise, chicken. One of the tack games disproportionately involved chickens. I don't remember if that was one or two. Tack. There was like a chicken costume and, sh and such. Oh, uh, I, I, I did. I don't think I mentioned this uh, in a while, I, I, ever on stream. But I got a new job. Oh yeah. I was a game. I was doing some uh, some like, game testing, but that that fell through. But I got a. But in the past month, I uh, got a job uh, back doing security work, and I got a chill site. And it's at downtown. And guess what's downtown right now? Uh, the furry convention? Yeah. yeah how'd you know? <laughs> you have mentioned... It's not, like, the furry oh, yeah, convention. Yeah. You were me you mentioned an infamous one. Oh, yeah, Rainforest. It is not Rainforest. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, Ra Rainforest, for those of you who don't know, there's a... A, a internet historian video on it. I haven't watched it because probably because I don't want the cringe to like taint my view of. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, hold on. Excuse me. Twinkle, twinkle, little cuckoo. I am gold and not for you. Okay. Oh, that what a what an unintimidated uh rooster. You are not worthy you? of the gold. You're not gonna eat me. You fool! They did that in the tax show too. I wasn't. I didn't really like the tax show. That kind of ruined the franchise for me. 
a lot of. That's a good thing I didn't watch a whole lot of the Donkey Kong show. That would that would have. Oh no, not you again! <laughs> He'll shower you in coconut cream pies. Unsurprisingly, most of those Donkey Kong actors never went on to do much else. Did we kill this guy before? I thought. I so guess. This I is, guess. So we we found out like the trick last time. We were following the music. Yeah. Doing this again? Did Ocarina of Time reuse like ideas for later on in the game? Like to some degree, well, we did go to well, the Lost Woods twice. Yeah. Or specifically the Forest Meadow. We're picking on this guy. Uh, he, he attacked us with like his stands. You know what would fix uh, Twilight Princess? I think, uh, or make it more powerful for me. Make it like more dark. Yeah. Make it like everything look creepy dark. If you're Not gonna like go the, in, like go all in. Make it eldritch. Yeah, or just, yeah just like like uh, make all the uh, traditional enemies, like the Octoroks, look all creepy and shit. Make like Zelda like a like like a ghost. Like not not okay. That was already done later uh, with the spear tracks. Um, I was like, shit. What was I gonna say? Uh, make Zelda look. Uh, make Zelda like like some kind of skeleton. Yeah. Okay, skeleton princess. It's metal. Yeah, and then uh, then you just do calamity gammon Ganon like uh, like a decade early, and then then you got yourself a good game, like an interesting game. It wasn't specifically that people wanted a dark Zelda, I think. I think they it was just... more that people wanted a, a more realistic Zelda, and they wanted a more adult Zelda. Because, because, uh, because Toon Link and, uh, and, Twi and uh, Wind Waker didn't go over well at all. <laughs> they just... In the West, just... no. Yeah. Which is a shame, because I thought that that Link had, like, a lot of personality. And, and the game had, like, it was... Like pretty light, like, like I, I like that. Have I forgotten what I'm supposed to do with these statues? Uh, possibly. Obviously, I'm supposed to do something. Did you hit the guy right, or uh, maybe wolf whistle? I don't. Did how? Tried that. Uh. I'm gonna smash it. And then, and then Zelda comes and smites you. Oh wow, you're almost out of everything. Except I... for the, the slingshot. <laughs> nope, it's immune. They're not. Come at me. Can I beat Ganon like this? Oh, get, some, get the arrows. It's okay, I put it away. We were talking about the... We were talking about the fishing pole, like, being effective in scan, and I was, like, thinking, oh, you just use the lure, he gets distracted by it, and you can just hit him with the sword. Like, wait, what? Like, some kind of cat with, like, a toy or some shit, but... I have no idea if I'm going the right way. I thought um, I was following the music. To be fair, I don't know either if you are going the right way. That's why they call it Lost Woods. Yuck, yuck, yuck. If you were to design a Zelda game, what would be, like, uh, your theme? Like, what would you do with the, with the Zelda franchise if you had, like, quick control over it? The Ganon wouldn't be the villain. Air, okay. I would probably just make Majora again. Something very similar. Oh, uh, <laughs> something similar to Majora. Uh, just like like Link trapped in like a weird like Eldritch dimension or some shit. I would probably make an attempt to go like people make the theories and such about Majora, you know, the, the stages of grief and all that. And that's not it's pretty much confirmed the devs didn't intend any of that. I I would intend it. 
Oh yeah. I just, would go like full Satoshi Cone Majora's Mask Zelda is what I like, would do. Like Zelda, just just like uh, like like Link is dead the entire time, and everything is just a representation of his memories as he's like going to the afterlife. Yeah, that specifically, but something with psychological intent. There would be oh, some yeah. degree of psychological horror to it. I was, it, would, it would be yeah. dark, but it would also a, a big point. A big selling point of the Zelda franchise is that it is like eclectic, but I, I don't really know how to describe it. It's fascinatingly weird. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's fan. It's it's like, I mean, there's been fantasy done before, but a lot of uh, Zelda has just been very, like... I, I, I would not describe it. You, you, uh, you hit the nail on the head, I think. Um, Even this game, like, it's not... It's not enough to save the game, but it's still there. Like, that Zelda weirdness with a lot of the character designs and such. So it you know seems how... to be coming from this wall, and there's two torches that make it look like there's something significant here. I must have to do something with this stone. You could look it up. Yeah. I mean, do you want to be stuck here for like 30 minutes? <laughs> just, just wondering, hey, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, if I were to do uh, Legend of Zelda, I'd... Uh... I probably have some kind of outside context problem to it. Like, I wouldn't make Ganon the villain either. Um, I'd have him be involved, but not, like, as a villain. Probably as, like, a... Uh, I'd probably make him playable in some way. Yeah. Make all three of them playable in some way. And they'd have to, like, deal... Like, I like the idea in Majora about there being the possibility of, like, some weird aliens. I like the idea of there being, like, a, like a weird, like, a semi-alien threat. Not like uh, Twilight Princess where they're communicating, but like something like very uh, Lovecraftian. And Lovecraftian, sure. Just plain old aliens would be very off-genre for Zelda. Oh yeah, something Lovecraftian. Um, you know the aesthetic uh, of... Uh, I, I, I really like the aesthetic of that game uh, Shit, Scorn? That was the name of the, the bio. I'd have like some of that. In, in, in there with like yeah it just be it just be very very like it would be the closest it ever come to being like actual outright horror so it mentions something about skull kid being up on like a ledge oh you gotta shoot him probably i guess i don't see any ledges and i'm not really being given the chance to look up if that's what the game wants me to do Find the ledge. What ledge? He says. God. Okay, so what's the so lost wood sections? They're the they're the worst part of this game, right? It went from being like kind of like clever in a uh, in Ocarina of Time Classic to just being like tedious with like an infinite barrage of enemies not letting you think, and then you gotta like find the you gotta do a fucking like hunt and peck like. Like a scavenger hunt, it's just—it's not good, right? This is—I'm I'm not annoying. having a lot of fun right now. No, and, and it's a good thing I'm not playing because I wouldn't be. Are you supposed to light the torches? Oh, couldn't hurt. All right, cool torches. Oh, you might want to put out your lantern. You're gonna lose the oil. All right, I'm gonna look up. Uh, this is getting annoying. I'm gonna look up a video guide. There's so many places that look like entrances, but that aren't apparently entrances. Some idiot, somebody's gonna be like, "Hey, you idiots! It's, it's obviously this," and I'll be like, "Hey, yeah, did you look? Did you immediately know the first time you played this game? Bad game design. It's trash." It is, it is kind of funny coming from, like, the, oh, the God of War director, because 
in a lot of ways, those games are more movies than games. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> the Zootopia abortion comic. Okay. No. How? I'm Where sorry. How did you get from A to B? Okay, so so I'm on YouTube, right? I was gonna look up the. Uh, I, I load up YouTube because I don't have that tab up, and uh, one of my subscribers is Wang. I don't know if you've heard of him. No. He's a guy who uh, who does like like uh, like weird like uh, weird gross stuff from the inner. Oh, there he is. Hey, cool! You found him. Shoot the fucker. Asshole. And he did, he did stuff like talking about the Mr. Hands video. Mr. Uh, Hands? Yeah, two girls, one cup. Uh, the, the, like the, uh, Swamps of Dagobah Reddit story. Stuff like that. And he also occasionally dips into weird media. And I guess this is what he found 28 minutes ago. He uploaded, hey, guess what I found? Okay, so is this... I'm sorry, it was, what was it? Zootopia... It was a fan Zootopia. comic. Yeah, I guess so. Um, it's well from the thumbnail. It looks well drawn. <laughs> is it a sexy fan comic or like an I like this movie in universe fan comic? I don't know. Okay, I, so if I, it's not I, obvious, I, I it's probably the latter. You could tell I, if it was a sexy fan comic, right? Uh, the art's gr the art looks looks really amazing. No one has G cups, <laughs> right? Uh, I. <laughs> how is this a how is this vague to you? How is this not an immediate yes or no? <laughs> it's just one thumbnail. Like you're, you're asking, it's like, it's like giving me like a picture of a dead body and be like, okay, can you tell me who the murderer is? Like, fucking, I would need to watch the video to find out. Okay. Like, chill out. All right, I'm gonna go back on topic. Where the fuck is the skull? Is the skull child? <laughs> I just—I thought you had more because you were describing like, hey, the comic looks real nice. The art, like I, I've seen the from what little I've seen, it looks um, it it looks like a one to one for Zootopia, like as far as art goes. You want me here, I'll will send you I'll screen cap and I'll send you what the thumbnail looks like, and then you can maybe by looking at it you can tell what the intent of the the authorial intent of the comic was. So Darian about posted about it. It's a very infamous fan comic. The art style looks very on model with the movie, but the entire thing is just about Judy and Nick getting an abortion. So so, all right. So I guess it's not sexy then. It's supposed to be dramatic. Well, it depends it's, on who you ask. God, Zellrock, jeez. <laughs> Okay, so I'm guessing then that. Uh... Oh man, you, uh, I'm, th I'm just picturing loss, except like as a 26-page comic. I I was thinking of uh, what what's that artist that does the like the intentionally crazy Scooby-Doo so uh, comics? Oh, I, this is news to me. What? <laughs> Intentionally crazy Scooby Doo comics. The one with like pregnant Scooby and shit. I, I, I this is news to me. What the fuck? Oh, I, I, I like did a I did a dub of one of their comics too. Go to what? my YouTube channel. You did a dub of one of their comics. Nelly's Nest. That's what it was. <laughs> I gotta hear this now. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to languish. It seems like you you you're, uh, you're, you fixed it, uh, so. Well, I am once again looking for Skull Child. I have gone in a circle. Ow! Sorry. Hit the... <coughs> oh, Megan came out. Robots are scary. Technology bad. <laughs> it actually looks like my kind of trash. So I might I might watch it. That and cocaine bear. What was I looking up? Oh yeah, your uh I got a pose soul. Uh... 
a thousand and one nights, nineteen sixty nine. Cool. No, that's the that's the Zellrog channel. I mean the B James Condon. Oh. What if Chucky was a girl? I mean, they did like Bride of Chucky, didn't they? Among all the Chucky things. This one seems more wacky than. Well, I guess Chuck. Well. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about Megan. Megan. Yeah. Uh... Right, your uh, Vegeta versus Cancer video blew up. That's yeah. That's about the only one that got a ton of views. Great. Oh, here we go. I see it. Oh, that's like. No, I did. I did not do one of the pregnant Scooby comics. <laughs> But she also really does those. Like... You can you can look up like Nelly's Nest and you'll get like a bunch of different ones. Okay. Uh We haven't fun yet? Oh you're still stuck, huh? Uh you need help? When do we get to the ride? The ride never ends. This is Mr. Bones Wild Ride. I want to get off Mr. Bones' wild ride. Oh, so, okay, recommended as well. So Wang does like videos of all these like gross like internet stories and topics, right? But occasionally he has like videos that are off genre. Like, who? What was the uh, Glass Joe's one win against? Yeah. It's just like it's like looking at a person's uh like uh like browser history and and it's like it's, like searching up like stuff like uh like dog sex. Sex dog, sex dog, dog sex, and then how to unlock Obi Wan's? Uh, how, how to unlock the Episode One fighter in uh, Star Wars War Rogue Squadron? And you're like, wait, what? Is this... I, I just feel like I'm going back to the places that I've already been before. All we want to do is go back. I feel like I could just, rather than this music, I could be playing Caretakers everywhere at the end of time and it's still fit. Alright. Uh. I assume I'm supposed to be following the music. Yeah, you're right. It... Are we ready to call this uh, bad game design for first-time players? I mean, I, 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 yeah, I'm not having fun. I mean, that that's a great sign when uh, your one hint that people are supposed to be going off of. It's not... I don't even know that that's working. Like, I figured out the puzzle, and I'm still not getting where I'm supposed to go. Okay, I looked up, uh, Twilight Princess, uh, and, uh... On YouTube, and I looked up Lost Woods sucks. To see if anybody wanted to do specifically talk about the Lost Woods uh, part of a and a top. And there are some that are like, "Is Twilight Princess the worst Zelda game?" Yeah, the, the Zelda that Nintendo never wanted to make, and yet also the highest selling Zelda game un until Breath of the Wild, I think. I, this was the highest selling. I, I did people just like really think this was what they wanted? Because I think a lot of people have soured on it over time. Not everyone. Well, There's still people who love it, but I mean, why does Z Zelda Twilight Princess get so much hate? 
Why Twilight Princess is my favorite? I mean, the aesthetics I, are, yeah. are like... I'm guessing it's just because of the aesthetics being like... Like, more ethereal than... Is why than people like, the, like it? Than like the... Uh, it's like, it's like a water... I, 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 people can hate me if they ever hear me saying this. You're gonna quote, quote, tweet me and stuff and be like, "Hey, this guy's opinions are shit," but I don't give a fuck. This feels like a watered down Majora's Mask. Yeah, I, Majora's Mask is totally my shit because this is just so unrelentingly weird. The whole time system is just like, is just it, the whole game feels like it's just not designed to drive you insane. I thought Skyward Sword was the one that got the most hate. Well, you see. Now we're at the point in time where all the people who were 10 years old and played Skyward Sword as their first Zelda game are, like, the majority of speakers. Yeah. And from what I heard, Skyward Sword is, like, not as dark as Twilight Princess. I've never it's played. Like, Maybe what? it's fine. I, I understand that people had problems with it. I've, I've heard plenty about them. Especially it being a motion control game. Yeah. Lost I think people are probably reacting to Twilight Princess. So Twilight Princess has probably been, like, penduluming since it came out. So, I think the thing is, it was similar to what happened with uh, Star Wars, the prequel trilogy, episode one in particular, where they're like, people are like, oh, this is pretty good. And then it's like, well, okay, there were some problems with it. It's people going, oh my god, this is utter shit. There's nothing redeemable about it. It's people going, was it really that bad? Well, yeah. To people going, well, actually, it wasn't too bad. And it, people want to be counterculture, so, like. It's just the nature of the discourse. I find it exhausting sometimes. But I, is, it a is a very peachy feeling game. Lots of violent watercolor environments. That's what I was going to say. A big complaint, I get, the biggest complaint that I hear about it is that it just doesn't do anything new. It's all by the, by the number Zelda. To me, this game is very by the number Zelda, but at least Skyward Sword looks like it has color. It, it looks, looks like, like a more pleasant world to be it's, in. It's Studio Ghibli Zelda. Basically, that's what I consider Skyward Sword to be is Studio Ghibli doing Zelda. Actually, what? no, the, that was also Breath of the Wild, I guess. What was uh, I just I don't remember what the context of the game being discussed was, but uh, someone in Discord I heard recently was saying that uh, like if the world isn't one that I want to be in, then everything else doesn't matter. That tracks actually. Um, I, I I get what they're saying. I, I I lean more towards like gameplay and Zelda for me. Its gameplay was never really the standout part of it. Um, it's always been like the world interacting with the world around it. Because the combat system in Zelda, uh, for at least the the, the uh, old school Zelda games, was just kind of like basic. The top down stuff was I found was I thought was fine. Um. But uh, with Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, it was always just like the the world all around it. And, uh, and Ocarina of Time... Oh, he's here! You hear that, right? I hear the toots. It's a good thing that Daleks can't climb stairs. <laughs> that was a joke in... Uh... Where is he? Why is he... I've been here so many times. Why is he just here now? What changed? He didn't look up. People don't look up at video games. No, I didn't was hear the toots last time I was in this was room. Was this before or after Portal? Was this released before or after Portal? I did. I, probably after. This was like 2006, wasn't it? <laughs> no, it was on GameCube too, so it had to be... Well, maybe it was. I don't remember. Portal, was, Portal wasn't Portal was on GameCube. Okay. No, I, I mean this it. game was GameCube and Wii. Yeah. We, Talk about we're back to okay. this shit again. We we do a we do a, a Zelda game, but we just it's just every dungeon is a crossover with another game franchise. I'd love to do like a portal themed uh, Zelda dungeon. Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. 
What we uh, would be okay. So we do Zelda. We had to do a paint by number Zelda game, except every dungeon cross is like a crossover with another game franchise. Are we fighting this guy again? You're a fucking asshole. You know that skull kid. In the portal dungeon, he gets a portal device. In the Mario yeah. dungeon, he gets some kind of jumping boots. Yeah, he gets to jump actually for real this time. It's an equipable item which allows him to jump. I think you gotta shoot him. I can do that. You don't have to ask me twice. Uh, so we got the Mario dungeon. I guess, uh, what other... There's some that wouldn't, would be hard to make work. Like, you can't really do a, an RPG like a Pokemon dungeon. Well, I mean, it'd be difficult. I, theoretically, you... Well, no. You could use, like, the lore, or you could be commanding monsters or something, but that would be, you wouldn't that, really you know capture the gameplay. That would be a side... He disappeared on you. I hate this guy. This is this is this is the worst part. Uh, you don't understand. That's what makes it so satisfying to beat him. Yeah, you, you know, Dark Souls bosses are satisfying to beat because they're bigger than you, and it and you have to like use skill to like dodge around them. I. You don't like uh, small annoying enemies who send other enemies after you. That's not an appealing game design. Actually, I, I, the, uh, the, uh, Pope boss, where, where, like, I had to, the boss, if the boss is, like, a big mob, that's one thing, like, fucking Legion from, uh, from, uh, Aria of Sorrow, that was, that was fun. It was a big ball of, like, you dead yet? No, oh, I'm not dead. <laughs> Skyward Sword is one of those games that you beat once and then don't want to come back to it for a while. I do also know that about it. It did a lot for the Zelda lore. Which, uh, other games kind of didn't. Ocarina of Time was big for, like, the overarching Zelda series plot, and so was Skyward, and that's kind of it. Others are more or less self contained. I still really like Link to the Past, and, uh, actually, I will add Link's Awakening to, to my top Zelda games because it's because of the nature of it. Because I'm also a fan of like David Lynch works, and it, it did feel kind of like uh, like Twin Peaks except Zelda. And ending's kind of disappointing. Yeah, a little bit Wizard of Oz. Yeah, and uh, Link to the uh, yeah, and Link to the Past and or uh, and uh, Link's Awakening ending, ending was uh, was disappointing too. That's why I meant was Link's Awakening. Oh yeah, it was Twin Twin Peaks. <laughs> Season two just got they got canceled before they could resolve anything, so it ended just with like like kind of creepily. And then and then season and then the return happened, and then and then there were like further questions than answers, which is like you know what, that's fine the way that ended. Have we been here before? I'm gonna guess no, but if you told me we had, I would believe you. They're just copying and pasting fucking... It's just uh. another wood, woods temple. I'm sure it'll be different. The last one was, like, the monkey guide stuff. You remember Link's crossbow training? Yeah. It was like that shooting gallery game where he had a crossbow and he was just shooting everything in sight. Unfortunately, my character is not nimble enough to climb this waist-high ledge. So, uh, I guess I'm not going to the temple. The fuck? Then how what the fuck? How get in? Oh, there's stairs down there. I think, right? Yeah, there you, there we go. That's how you get in. Oh. Okay, that that's fine. That, that was our fault. I thought that was like a shortcut to get in from somewhere else. Still don't You're have good. like an instrument in this game. The wolf whistle. That's your instrument. And then sometimes you uh, use the reeds to like play something. There's a Master Sword supposed to be here. Wait, but... I'm confused. Yeah, so am I. What the fuck are we doing? Do we have to, like, oh, reawaken the sword or something? Is that the entry to the temple? Up there now? Alright, we'll go back there and see what that, what that, what, where that door leads. Magic key.
And then the statues come alive. Now we gotta... I gotta say, I don't like this part of the game where it's just sometimes you just gotta... Oh, we're doing this now to activate a warp point. It's just, just kind of pointless because it's just the same thing every time. So, yeah. Oh, we didn't kill them all. They're gonna survive. Come here. Come here. Do so you think you think Zelda? I would like to see like a Zelda game where you play as Link, and it's like kind of an action game in the same style as like a platinum game. Not like a Warriors game, but like like a, call it like I don't know. Link the so, I don't know. I I don't like platinum games, so uh, I can't. Really I love them. them, so so that's so. There you go. <laughs> it's just some some, ta some days you just want to like grab a sword and like hack away at everything at sight, and that's why I like platinum games. Or um, are we supposed to go this way? Mm hmm. I thought we were supposed to go up to where the door was. Up top. Go back to where you were, like, climb up the, uh, path. I think the reason why, uh, why people still resonate with Ocarina of Time even to this day is because, like, the game feels like on a certain, like, there's stuff beneath the surface. It was why that Triforce percent, uh, like, speedrun was so popular, was because... What? Okay. We're entering the Boggly Woods. Uh... I know this song. I know this song. I know you're going to come to life at some point. There's no way you two won't. It'd be great if, uh... Yeah? I was going to... Oh, shit. That'd be great you go I back in time and then, uh, and then everything looks like it's from N64 era. It's kind of like, uh... Just like... Yeah, you're in present time and it looks like modern day graphics. You go back in time it look... You kind of devolve in terms of graphic fidelity a little bit. I feel like some game has probably done that. Messenger also, did that. I also feel like a cutscene's about to start. Should I? Yeah, I should, yeah. Are we finally gonna go to the Temple of Light? Are we gonna see it? The Temple of Light. That was the one that we couldn't, uh, we, there, there wasn't a temple in Ocarina of Time. Yeah, now it is, and then... Also, we gotta Uku fight. is here, I guess. Yep. We gotta fight Seraphim and shit. It's showing you that, no, it's it, it's it's not like a wall. Okay, deeper inside the temple. Well, I would assume that by the fact that there are stairs going up to it. Ooh. Like how it's literally the exact same song from OOT. Yeah, they didn't change anything about it. Yeah, they didn't because they wanted people to be like, "Oh, hey, yeah, yeah I remember that. This maybe this game isn't shitty after all." <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm I'm mean to this game. I but it's just it's just like if this game was like janky as fuck, I'd feel I'd probably feel better about it. I have I have a soft spot in my heart for games with passion. But uh, if, even if the execution is bad, if they did. I feel like I don't think there's a lack of passion in this game. Like they were trying. I just, I'm not a fan just, of the result. I just yeah. I I, I don't like. Uh, I just don't like the aesthetics. You know. I you know. I get that's a me problem. It just it color it, it colors my biases in the game. I get that. Spooky ghost statue. There was one more here. I'm sorry. Wait. 
Your wolf senses are so good, it allows you to see back in time. Okay. First, we had to we had to find a bridge. Now we got to find a statue. Oh, this is gonna be like uh, this is like Emperor's New Groove. We got to find the pieces and build the statue. This is the head. No, what is this? No, that's the. That's that is the head. There's no, it's not a head on the other one. This is a different statue. I guess. Look at look at look at it with your wolf senses again. I'm lazy. <laughs> we know there's more than that. We'll just look for the other pieces and bring them. Yeah. Too high, can't climb. This is the Temple of Time, so there's, there's probably going to be, like, uh, I don't know. Time puzzles, I see. I just have to wait. In the future, the puzzle will be solvable. Okay, okay, uh, Bill and or Ted. <laughs> hey, I'll go back in time, I'll put the keys here, and, they'll go and then we'll go forward in time, and it'll already be there. Check it. Hey, good work! No? This, this piece does not appear to be anywhere on that statue. And that statue appears to be a perfect duplicate of this statue. Okay, wait, hold on. Go back to the statue. Go back to the ghost statue. Is it the center? Because there's a hole in the center. Conceivably? No, it doesn't look like... It's not round, though, like this piece is. What the fuck? Can I jump up to this ledge? Midna, literally all you would have to do is, like, go up there and beckon me, and I would be able to jump up there. Nah, I'm lazy. The Master See, Sword is what does all the time travel, and... Oh, yeah. Majora has way more to do than with time travel than Ocarina of Time. Yeah, because you have the Song of Time. And... Well, so, if more the Master to do with Sword the Ocarina. has the ability to, to control the flow of time among its uh, other abilities, does that mean that, uh, that uh, if a person wields, like, the Master Sword, they'd be protected from, from like, temporal effects? I... maybe? It's like Link with the Master Sword uh, would be unaffected by, like, the, the weapons in the year of hell when Voyager was being attacked by those fucking... Did you just slip? Uh, no, I tried to... I thought maybe I'd just go through the door and find the other pieces, but no. I guess we'll have to explore other parts of the room. Also, I thought you were about to say that Link would be unaffected by the world. <gasps> Time stops when he still moves because he's got, like, the fucking Master Sword. Nani? Also, the Master Sword is a weapon of, like, Evil's Bane, right? So you think you think it'd be extra effective against vampires? It'd be, like, perfectly equipped to fight Dio. Are those... Can I... Uh, those look like torches. Maybe I can hookshot to them. Sorry, yeah. claw shot. Gotta rename it. Why? Eh. No. Uh... Wait, what's over there? What's, what's through there? This was the entrance. Oh, that was the entrance. I thought the entrance was higher up. No, this is okay, where we never came mind in. then. Okay, maybe we can't, we can't get higher up. <laughs> maybe it has something to do with that bell behind you. Oh wait. Well, rolling into it isn't isn't enough. Ring, ring. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> okay. This actually does feel like a puzzle. This is... Why is this the most interesting this game has been so far? Can I just, like, smash through the door? Will that work? Uh, you're gonna need... It's gonna be a DC 50 check to break through the door. Sorry. Okay, wait. Go, go, uh, go to the right. Oh. Uh. Uh, that, what's that do? That was where the that was where the head was, right? I think. I'm sorry, I'm still calling it a head. I don't know what else to call it. Are we just too dumb for this game? <sighs> this game's too smart for us, bro. I'm used to playing a different type of game, and uh, and you have uh, said that your least favorite. Uh, 
like part of Zelda was the dungeons. Yeah. So this I'm not surprised. Has, I'm not surprised. Long dungeons. And I and I and I don't like puzzles. So. So uh, I'm not surprised both of us are doing poorly at this. Uh, also, I'm still in the habit of pressing pause to try to get my items. You know what? At least we're not we're not uh, have going into dark side fill levels of uh, breakdowns with our uh, with like our just like oh, like why this game so fucking dumb? What I'm I'm doing it? No, we're just like we're just like huh? We are also reading things. We're not grumping it. Game grumping it? Yeah, they get a lot of flack for like mashing through tutorials and then complaining that they don't know what to do. Occasionally we do that, but then we're like, ah shit, we fuck we knew we fucked up. Oh, the wait. ancient technology of our people sleeps in this place. Oh, this is your temple. This is your temple huh? Okay. Now we're sure. so close I can smell it! Once we find that thing, we can go home at last. Oh gracious, yes! Young man, we're so close. Please help us find what we're looking for. Okay. Oh, okay, titty bird. <laughs> titty bird? Titty human corpse bird. It looks like the, a redead with tits on a cuckoo's body. Ugh. I don't like it. <gasps> Tectites! Uh, should I not have stepped? Okay, we're good. Well, boy, I wish we had someone to tell us what those are. I assume they're tectites. They're tectites. What other four-legged spiders are there in, in Zelda canon? Well, there were the there. I don't think they were four-legged. There were those creatures in Wind Waker that were like the insects that spewed things from their backsides. That's another thing I miss about uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask lore. Like you get. Hey, come here. Eh, uh, uh, spider, don't give a fuck. Okay. Okay, good fight. Oh, so, there's pots. Alright. Now set it down gently. There, you, there we go. Bad. All right, so arrows are going to be necessary soon, I guess. Ring, ring! <laughs> that spinner has just been useless. Oh, it worked that time. Yeah, because it was up. I got 20 rupees. We don't need 20 rupees, unfortunately. Uh. Oh, okay, I get, I get what you have to do now. What ha I, I should have That's tried clever. to get Star Trek doored. Let's see what happens if they crush me. Oh, hey! What are you doing, my hell? Oh. There's some cool stair physics. Fight scene on stairs. Uh oh, I oh no! <laughs> that was. I like that. that. Man, it's a shame we didn't see that more often. I will say they did expand the fighting like mechanics a little bit. Oh, but I thought you were a piece of statue. Never mind. You're an Armos. Oh, is I guess. Weird looking Armos in this game. They have the back weakness again. Yeah, instead of like, you need bombs to kill me. They look like they. It looks like he's from a completely different game. He kind of looks like he's from TAC. Yeah, I was Crash gonna Bandicoot. Say, yeah, Crash. You know what? Yeah? How long can you last? Circle around slowly. Is this really gonna work? <laughs> gonna I don't think he liked it. That was... That was funny as fuck. Just... Tink, tink, oh no! Oh no! I was just thinking of the line. It doesn't matter if you know what's coming if you can't do anything to stop it. 
And that just oh, kind of yeah. stopped coming up in One Piece. Remember when people were just psychic and could see the future? Yeah. And then, uh... Like, that was just a power that these people could train themselves to have, and then everyone just kind of stopped oh. having it. Well, some people... Oh, Mantra, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, no. is that what it was called? Yeah, just being able to read, like, what they're going to do. That was, a, that was hockey. That was yeah, it was treated hockey. like one of the aspects of hockey or something. Ben. And it just stopped coming up in favor of hockey being treated as, you know, key. I think that, I think that one uh, girl had it to the point where she could actually read entire, like, move, like troop movements and shit. But other people, they could just use it to kind of, like, read what their their opponents were about to do next. Just in a, in like, not in a, uh, I can see the future kind of fortune-telling sense, but in the sense of just, like, of just, like, next you're, you're going to say this, or next you're going to, like, punch me using your right arm, and I'll be able to react to it in time, because I am good at reading uh, senses like that. I'll throw a straight punch forward, but stop just before I hit his face. And Yusuke did, and he still won, because he's that... He's that strong! And then remember when, uh, when, was it younger? Elder Taguro, like, had the ability to read minds, and then, it's like, I can read your mind, you won't, you, you, there's nothing you can do, like, surprise me, Karama just, like, hit him without thinking. Is that how that there's, went? Yeah, he, so, so, when he hit, what, that fight, I remember that fight, because it ended, <laughs> it ended really, really hilariously. Uh, for, the uh, singing and, and tree. Yes, well, I'll get to that. Um, <laughs> so, he, uh, basically was like, I am immortal now, you can't kill me no matter how hard you try. And Karam was like, oh, okay, well, then, you know what I'll do, I'll just, I'll do something to you, and then... He, then Elder Tagoro started hallucinating that he constantly like trying to kill him but couldn't, and it turned out that he got infected with the sitting tree. Where he's like, "Yeah, he's just uh, he's just gonna be like this forever." I just he'll just, wish uh, he was dead. Yep. And then and then he never showed up, and, and he never. And when they were going up, they didn't see him, which I, which I assumed that the sitting tree just like just like left. <laughs> it just got up and walked away with it with it with fucking El well, uh, Elder Tagoro. <laughs> Didn't the place, like, collapse in on itself? Wasn't he buried? Yep! Buried with the tree? He still won't die. He'll still be down there. Yeah, the tree is just like, Just be you and me forever, buddy. He's like, No! Oh, hey! I, I think Karama also met Yu Yu Hakusho, by the way. Yeah. I think Karama mentioned, like, uh, It is possible to, like, break free of the sinning tree with the pure heart or some shit. Which is why he knew that Tagoro never would. What if he did though? What if Tagoro actually did sincerely recant, like, like, it, like far in the future, it'd be cyberpunk and he'd be like a demon and he'd just be like, like, uh, like, like a, a hero. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Not, but, not, yeah. not necessarily a pure heart, but like, uh, person who regrets what they've done, he just becomes the atoner. As if they were, a if they were able to like become aware of what was going on and like uh, just kind of be zen about it, but he, which he knew that. He never would, because he Tagoro is such a petulant little shit. I think you just fucked yourself right right there. Possibly. Yeah, you jump down with it. You're gonna have to go leave and reset the room. I don't have a key yet. Yeah, there was a switch over on one side where you needed two items and uh Oh so what is this? This is gonna turn uh probably gonna turn the room. Oh no, that's an elevator. Actually, uh, we're watching Yu Yu Hakusho with uh, Illatox. And uh, fi finding more flaws than I had thought in the past. I oh, still yeah? enjoy it, but uh, I don't I don't think I hold it quite as highly as like Hunter Hunter anymore. A lot of the early conflicts just kind of result in uh, Yusuke A, attempting to kill himself as the final solution, and B... <laughs> that's dark. Getting getting really mad and just getting an unexplained burst of power for it. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of just shown in anime tropes. And it's mostly still... because they just kinda didn't have anything to do with Yusuke's powers early on. He had a gun and that was it. It yeah. took a while for him to have enough powers to like work with and make interesting fights. I will say maybe if you if they foreshadowed it better. 
uh, then they could have just like said that. Oh yeah, Yusuke, uh, it was his latent demon genes, like, uh, like, like uh, coming into fruition. But no, they didn't do that. They just, they just, it seemed like kind of an afterthought. It's ironic will... because the whole series kicked off with him uh, attempting to martyr himself. So here's where, here's why you screwed yourself. Um, there's a switch. Uh, it over needs two things. Yeah, it could be down there actually. He threw one of them. You might actually be onto something. I don't know. Well, that went down. I, I'm not fully understanding like the structure of this room. Uh, the other one down, I guess. Ow! I will say that you, Hakusho, will forever have a place in my heart for the fucking righteous Taguro arc where he was just... They just went there and he just kicked ass. And just, like... Yeah. Uh... Well, I have them both down here. Now, should I have brought them down here is the question. I don't think you should have. I think you need to reset the room. And just... Well, where are the things I need them for? Oh... Hmm. I think it was, like, on the other door. Like, to the... To the like, across from, uh... Where that one door was. The, the one that was, uh, locked. So, yeah, you need to reset the room. Leave the room and come back. I don't know where you're talking about, but I'll take your word for it. You has got some hype ass music. It's all right. I like the soundtrack. I liked uh, Hunter Hunter's 1999 soundtrack more, and I think I like both more than the newer Hunter Hunter soundtrack. <laughs> Anime just music like... just isn't good anymore. Even Naruto not... had good music. I hate Naruto. People I'm knew how to use leap motif back then. I had a more negative uh, view of uh, Naruto before I actually watched the series, and I'm like, hey, this is this. Uh, the characterization wasn't as one-sided as fan fiction would have liked me to believe. Like, it was pretty bad hey. in like the very start of it, but they they and developed. Then, well, you know, you know what they say about first impressions. So what what do you think I should do? Am I going across to that door? Is that what you're saying? I think that's the door you need to get to. Because there's, like, two items, which means you need... There's, like, two of those heads, which means you need two switches. Oh, wait, stop. Yeah, there, there. That's how you get across. You just... See? The two switches are over there. So that's that's where you need to bring them to. Don't jump down. Uh, Hunter Hunter 1999. Same composer as the Big O. Oh, uh, cast in the name. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I like that guy. He's one of my favorite uh, anime composers. I don't like the fact that... Because, you know, you, something gets popular enough and then everything kind of gets uh, homogenized. Art styles get homogenized and and uh, music styles get homogenized. Plot beats get homogenized. Character traits get homogenized. And it's just like... Yeah. I want more variety. I want... I guess that's why people like Chainsaw Man a whole lot. Because it's like... Out there. You want to go back into the center, you're going to go down and you're going to grab the other one. Is that where it was? Yeah, that's where it was. So what you're gonna do is you're... Somebody made like a series of really good edits uh, of uh, people on Star Trek playing video games. Yeah. Star Trek Next Generation. I think I showed you one of them. You showed me the Jordy plays Mario. Yeah. <laughs> that one. That one ended weird. Uh, now you can just go up uh, like the same way with uh, with that. Yeah. And I, I'm trying to think of the other. Like really, there was one where Wesley was playing uh, Sonic on the bridge. Everybody's like, "Full speed ahead, Mr. Crusher!" And, just, and Sonic ran forward and hit an enemy, and then like, "We stopped, Captain." 
It's just, it's just them playing video games but they're treating it like it's like, like ultra serious shit. It's funny as fuck. Wasn't there an episode where the plot point was that, like, a super addictive video game? Wait, wait, yeah. Uh, he's- the guy- the creator said he's saving that for, uh, for, like, the perfect game, I guess. And yeah, it was, like, a super addi- What? Hmm, okay. <laughs> well, that's a needless extra step, but I- I will play your game. <laughs> this game- <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm aware of that uh, that episode because I saw it. Uh, maybe maybe it was Vinny did a video where he spliced that together with like Agario. Yes, that that was him. Uh... Because that was like when that came out, everyone was doing that. It was like the brief internet addiction. Yeah. I feel like I'm fighting Bowser. Oh no, there's two of them now. Do the do the ball and chain thing. But one again. of them's gonna interrupt it if I do that. Not if they're they're both close together. I have a better idea. Bombs. No. Let it rip. Yeah, baby leads. Yeah, baby leads. This isn't gonna work. I thought I would be able to zoom around the room faster. No, oh, I'm sorry. It was never meant to be, Yeti. Fate has conspired against us! Should go around the left. Yeah, that's a better idea. Oh, I hit both that, of them. It instantly killed them. That thing hits hard. Jawbreakers? I still... Yeah, that's still, like... Who's... It's never meant to be. Oh boy, I bet we're a quarter of the way through the dungeon. Just take it all. Getting here took a while, and then because of fucking Lost Woods. I don't think it took as long as it, like, the previous stream took to get to the dungeon. Wait, isn't this where we just were? I went in the wrong door. Yeah, it happens. I have these things again. Are there any uh, wacky leg physics in this game? I think this was before wacky leg physics. Yeah, see, he goes through the steps. Oh no, kinda, hold on, I got something. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come on, crazy legs. <laughs> there was this, uh, back in the early, early days of LP, um, there were these two British people, and they were playing this, uh, game on PS2 called Rune Viking Warlord. Yeah. Right? And, uh, and the mechanics of, like, of, like, moving were so busted that when they were moving, the guy's legs were just going crazy. They could not stop laughing. And he's like, like... <laughs> Why the fuck are there so many just rupee chests in this game's dungeons? You need the cash to, like, re refund your supplies and shit. <laughs> I would have laughed if this was, like, Spelunky and I just fucking brained myself. Five hearts gone. <laughs> oh man, wait—that's something they could do. Zelda as a roguelike. Yeah. Well, they, like 3D Zelda. You call does it. Does Crypt like... of the Necro Necrodancer count? Oh, the Necrodancer spinoff. I I guess, but that's a crossover with an established roguelike property, though. I don't know what to do. Something. So there's a few of these objects in the room, the pick upables. Okay, uh, stop. Let's let's uh don't do that, please. Thank you. All right. Uh, whoever needs pots. chest to the right, and then what's what's behind the what's the other side? Nothing. The fuck is it? nothing. Uh. A ghost chest. Yeah, use your ghost senses. You, you uh, s smell your way through time or whatever. I don't- I can't smell. That This is my smell sense. Alright, we'll go up to... 
just comb the area as a wolf and see if there's anything different, I guess. We got wolf physics? Kind of. Another chest. That's the rupee. Okay. Uh, you have a key, though, right? I do have a key. I, uh, I think th there was a locked door in the previous room, wasn't there? Yeah. Wait, this isn't the locked door room? Oh, okay. I. All right, then I guess I guess we have no need to be. Wait, can I open as wolf? Oh, she can. <laughs> Or was don't, don't. the locked door? Over there. Right in front of you. Midna, open. Do I, have, do I have to jump through hoops? Boy, I hope I'm accurate. You're a dog. J jump. I, I thought I could. I guess not. I guess that's not I'm the solution. That, I'm guessing that's where the big ass laser is going to shoot through once you activate it or Darn. something. <laughs> I guess I'm not skilled enough to jump through a spiked hoop. Well, I mean, your 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 shit. Yeah, there's going to be a laser. I I knew it. Darian's advice, be like Riku and smell the darkness. Do you see that? I Re... <laughs> smell the darkness. Riku, get up, get off the game, go to the bathroom and take a shit. Oh. Oh, one more one more level. That I I I hesitate to laugh at that because I on some level. Like I think, I think there's something seriously wrong with that situation. Besides the obvious, it's obviously some kid with a condition or something. Yeah. It'd be, it'd... Oh, yeah, that thing. Ring, ring. Rupees. Uh, yeah. Who hides rupees in a bell? Okay. Well, um. Can't believe that worked. Uh, um, something go through hole. Oh, <laughs> so, you, you missed. You missed twice. What? No, Shit it's not game. that kind of. Oh. Okay, so there isn't a giant laser. I yeah, am the laser. I'm disappointed now. Also, nice Bemo statues. It is an actual Riku line. He says, I recognize that smell. The scent of darkness. <laughs> what does darkness smell like? Oh, is this the treasure? It's a treasure. Oh, no, it's just the compass. Does this have to do with the darkness of the heart? Uh, it's the darkness of the sewers. Increase the sewer count, Goofy. Rings a bell. Ding! Was there a sewer level in uh, Kingdom Hearts? Uh, Hollow Bastion. Uh, uh, yeah, that counts. Yeah, that counts. There is not, there is not a sewer section in uh, Black and White. However, there is one in Black and White 2. We get to go into the uh, Castellia they City added, sewers. They added a sewer. They added a sewer level. <laughs> God. And you know what? Because the because Gen Five has the gimmick of seasons, the water level in the sewer changes. You can, can go some over. places in the summer and some in the winter. What about fall and spring? Does it change there? You see leaves in the sewer. I, I don't remember what seasons are what. Some of them they're dry, and some it's like extra juicy with sewer juices <laughs> extra juicy. you can surf in sewage <laughs> hang 10 or get or get to uh, e coli oh no i'm covered in mud wait it smells a little bit. oh what is wrong with you guys so oh wow this 
That guy looks scary. Is that a Dinalfos as opposed to Lizalfos? We'll never know. We don't have a fairy. Uh, I was gonna say, what would be a good subversion on a sewer level? Well, what's the opposite of a sewer? Like an attic? <laughs> <laughs> no, an opposite of a sewer would probably be like a pool. No. Fuck it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is a question. Truly a question for the. A riddle for the ages. What is the opposite of a sewer? A sewer is. A bathroom, like, probably. <laughs> a sewer is like underneath a town and it's very gross. So what, what would be like something that is above a town and nice? What is the opposite of a sewer? <laughs> Okay, talk, talk to me, Google. Sewer antonyms. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, it's got 30 uh, opposites of sewer. So you ready? Go for it. Hilltop. Headland. Recharge. Headland? Head, what the fuck is headland? A cape, a promontory, a point of land projecting into the sea or other expanse of water. Okay. Recharge. Amble, bottled water, brow, cleaned water, crystal clear water. The opposite of a sewer is just a fucking, like, bo clean body of water. A septic tank? No, that's worse than a sewer. <laughs> that's a fate worse than death thing there. Uh. Okay, so opposite of sewer would probably be a river then. Or some just a clean, uh, a clean above ground body of water. Uh, oh my god! There's a lot of bugs in this temple. Dungeon? Is this even a temple? I don't even know what we're doing here, lore wise. We're trying to find another piece of the mirror. Scales. Fuck. How many of these things do we need to bring? All right. What does this do? Nothing. We don't get to see. The scales are balanced, right? So you, what you need to do is... I presumably uh, have to make them unbalanced in some way. Yeah. Not enough information. There's too many bugs. Opposite of a sewer. <laughs> Maybe. Hold on, I have an idea. <gasps> oh! You know it would be an opposite of a sewer? What? Uh... That was easy. We are overthinking it. Just... Uh, the opposite of a sewer would just be an aqueduct. Sure. Or an aquifier. So, you so it would just be an underground, like, cave water system. That's for hookshot, you- I assumed that, but I don't remember the previous hookshot targets being, like, red. I thought maybe it was red. also something to shoot. Ow. They really like circles in this game. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. Do I need to bring something here? No, I think it's just uh, because there's a bell up there. Yeah, you do it. You know you want to. Rupees. Yep. Money for nothing by Dyer's Well, no, this is one of those lifting platforms. I don't know. Let's... Let's just progress through, and then and then we'll double back if we need to. I feel like this is going to be a dungeon that's going to take two parts. Oh, there's the shadow symbol, or is that the spirit symbol? I, I think it's the light temple symbol. Yeah, maybe. All right, uh, you're gonna want to go that way. I didn't realize there was another way to go. No, that's too easy. You idiots! What? Oh! Oh, oh, oh he got, he got me! Got you. 
<laughs> he figured it out. Did you just turn your fucking sword mid stab to take out the other guy? That was neat. Why? Why does the? Why does Ocarina Link even teach us sword techniques? We don't use them. I don't know. It's just, just it's mash just, B. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> that was that would could have been bad. That was bad. <laughs> All right. So it tells me you're gonna need that. Let's bring it with you. Oh. No. Pick up. Was... Why? Why pick up that? Because I need this with me. I need to get one of the pots. Well, don't get hit. Have I ever messed up when it counted? A couple times, but you did well today. Castlevania's got some aqueduct levels. Bomberman Hero had one. Why do people always use sewers as like as like levels? Like, who was the who's the guy who that who do, who does who, that count? Uh, that was that'd be Civi uh, eleven. Civi eleven. And, who, and, who and he just that like for as little time as you would spend there in real life, you spend a disproportionate amount of video game time in sewers. Like most games use a sewer level, sometimes multiple sewer levels. Like, uh, like it, it's like kind of surreal, like just how much time like people take in sewers, like in video game, like how many games use sewer levels and I guess it it, oh, ma it makes thing. for like a natural maze of sorts well not because not natural but like well people don't like mazes in games some people don't like mazes in games eh. oh oh you're gonna try to use a pot oh is it still down the barrier's not there anymore oh Darn. what okay okay so well, no, I need to get this thing out of here. I... do I? I don't know, actually. No, I don't think so. You'll find out. You'll probably double back and see. Oh, there's one over there, too. Is this... this isn't the way I came in. No, this is a locked door. Do I... I don't have a key. No, you're gonna have to go the other way. Did you have to grab a key from the from the hook shot on the in the other room? I hope not. I assumed that was a way back down, but we could check there. Wait, it says there's a chest in this room. Was that just rupees? Yeah, you see the you see the uh yeah, I see, see the map? Do I have to kill all of these arantulas? They look like the Pokemon. The silk one. Yeah. Silverantula. I guess I could wolf these guys. Yeah. I guess you could. I wish it was faster to transform. Well, they fixed that for Majora's Mask. Uh, unfortunately, this is... After that? Yeah. That'd be kind of cool, a wolf mask. Yep. Alright, what's that unlock? Is that a big chest or a small chest? 20 rupees! Better not be. Why fucking bother? Just don't put it in the in the dungeon! We didn't need a chest for that! People were uh, frustrated about the lack of cash in Majora's in uh, Wind Waker, so they, uh, they auto-corrected very hard in the other direction. <laughs> Even though Wind Waker was an autocorrection for people complaining about their nothing to be spend money on in Ocarina. Metamorphosis is a process, Zelrog. That's the locked door. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna need to we're gonna need to backtrack and figure out what the fuck we missed. Take souvenirs. Oh, like those uh bullets. I that can sell had. these! 
Oh, there's a chest in here. Was that more rupees? Probably. Why fucking bother? Why do I have that? Oh, yeah, health. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't go in here. This is probably where the key is. 20 rupees. Okay. No, the key. <laughs> Glad to be wrong. Oh, the, the hero of clumsiness. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think legitimately, because he added, like, 100 to a counter one time because the sewer level was just so fucking bad. But I think out of all the games he's played, there's been 100 sewer levels slash sections. Yeah. In like, uh, in, like, all the games he's played, which is fucking staggering. How many have we encountered? Shit. I, I don't even know. I have to go back and, like, look. How many Mario games have sewer levels? Uh, Yoshi's Island. Mario, like anytime you go down a pipe, the whole game is basically like you're above ground and then you hit it in sewer level. It's nice just... in theory. What? Hello. It's a dark nut. All right. How's this just gonna work? One? This is a boss character now. Shield, because you gotta. Oh, you're knocking pieces of armor off. That's cool. Hard boss. Oh, he's getting serious now. He looks like a Dark Souls character without the armor. Oh yeah. Now he's gonna fight like one. Dark Solar is coming for me. Ow! Oh, he booted me! <laughs> nice! He's like, oh, you thought about I was this? Gonna... Yeah? You fought. <laughs> My Here ultimate you technique! Nope. He just, he just, like, fucked that. Hey, Dodge, what do you think? Try yeah. becoming a wolf. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna be Omida. He's my hero. You're running out of hearts, bro. Come on, hit me. Was the twirl necessary? Hold on, I think something needs to be let in. I don't know if we got it. Can't wait to get out. Okay, so I blocked oh, the first him. two, and I dodged, yeah. I dodged the third one. This feels like that, uh... Don't kick me. I feel like you gotta, like, do the last-minute dodge that they taught you. This feels like a, uh, a, 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 a skill check for, uh... For like remembering all your like sword techniques and shit. The problem is I don't remember them. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, you're like that idiot shown in protagonist is like, wait, what am I supposed to do here? I got a couple hits in earlier because I blocked the first two and then dodged the third. But now I'm yeah. I'm getting too far away by the time I, I dodge it. There you go. Ow. He's like a Dark Souls character. What the? You think uh, the Dark Souls Miyazaki, the, that director, got inspired by this game? Do you have anything else that could help? Bombs? Beyblades! He's a bomb. What if this, the slingshot finally is useful again? Well. Yeah! What the fuck?
no, no effect. <laughs> he just <laughs> used a slingshot. <laughs> he used a slingshot. <laughs> If only I have the fishing rod. And With an earring. earring. <laughs> well, he feels the need to dodge it. <laughs> oh, he took it straight to the face and is like, nope. I wish I could just like... Well, I guess I, I shield automatically. I keep thinking I have to hold R like the 64 games. So is this like a dude? Did I just kill a man? He was the echo of another hero of time. A pupil of uh, of uh, his until he turned to evil. The ashen one. All right, what what uh, what was our uh, reward for beating such a hard boss? That wasn't really that difficult. Dominion Rod. Rod. This is a weapon in Hyrule Warriors. Can infuse can have... ancient statues with life. So we've only just now unlocked the item that gives us access to this dungeon's gimmick. But like the other item. Oh, it's a giant light symbol. Cool. Why is it red? Give life to the pot. Oh no, never mind. You killed them all. If only. Go full, uh, full mod soul on this. I'm gonna give life to the bell. Nope. Still doing it. Bong. <gasps> Perry! This is actually useful. If it'll come down to me. Use the Dominion... <laughs> blow, use the Dominion Rod to blow it up. Is that oil in there, or...? To blow up the fairy? I wanted to Dominion the fairy. I know you did, so did I. Wait, I'm down. Do you, think the, do you think the fishing rod will be able to, like... Catch the fairy? Yeah. No. Okay, it's gonna, it's gonna take a while to come down. Lot is just good lot. game yeah. design. Oh, good. They're they're now nondescript balls of light again, and not obviously sad little girls who hate being in bottles. You know, people say that oh, you use a pink fairy, it'll kill them. But no, I, I just think that. That the fairies, they just, uh, they give them their life force and they go and they just sleep. Wait, whoa! I see. So are all of the little things that we had before, are those all possessable, I wonder? That'd be interesting, actually. Wait, what? Bell. Bell. Oh, is every single bell gonna be, like, useful like this? Time for backtracking! Oh, did you not... It's dark! It's cramped! I'm scared! Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, I get it. Okay. <sighs> yep, the, you know what? This dungeon is still not very impressive. Let me go back to this walkthrough. Yeah, do that. Not because I need it, I'm just curious what, uh... Snow Peak Ruins, Temple of Time, City in the Sky, Palace of Twilight, Cave of Ordeals, Hyrule Castle. We're on... So this is... This walkthrough has 22 chapters, and we're on chapter 17. So we're getting to the end. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh, I'm guess positioning uh, where you do do the starting dominion is uh, gonna be important. Oh, it's stuck now. Uh oh. Oh no. 
Well, I hope I didn't need him up here, because this is where he started at. We'll reset the room. Very nondescript temple music, this track. Yeah. Okay, so how did we get through there? Uh, I don't. I you're asking the wrong person. I'm sorry. Oh, so you can move it. Okay, cool. Okay. Then quit. And then wait. What? Wait. That's not. But how? Oh, do you need to throw it to the other side? To, no. How this close? I don't remember how we opened it. Oh no. Hey. Hey. What? I don't think this dungeon is very good. No. Come on, man, do this for me. You know I love Zelda dungeons. <laughs> want that fix? Want that? Uh, want that Zelda dungeon hit? Oh, um, I thought that would like uh, uh, maybe it would like swing its weapon or something. Oh, it can. Okay. So I just, I need to use the rod button again. Either we missed a tutorial, or what? Oh, now it goes up. Okay, well, you're gonna have to, uh, this is... Wait, what? It's not going down. Okay. Oh, you moved it, that's why, okay. I guess I could have just stood on it. I didn't. Need this to. looks tedious as fuck. Yeah. It's another one of those things where uh, I do just doesn't feel like it really needed to. It, it takes too long to switch between to think controlling different things in Zelda games. Yeah, I, I, I can feel that. Uh. Oh, you can move through there, no problem, huh? It can. The problem is that I c it can't move without me also moving. It's not like Wind Waker. Yeah, this is kind. Of, this control scheme is kind of weird. Can I break this? Yes, I yes. can. Okay, is re somewhat redeemed. Oh, you got hit. Can I break the giant pendulum? I just- I want to break everything. The power that breaks- nope. Darn. <laughs> the power that breaks a lot of things. Me and my buddy go on an adventure. Oh, I can't break those either? Oh, you can deflect them, I guess. It seems fun. Too bad it's so situational. It'd be nice if I could press a button to just, like, hold Link in place and only move the statue. That'd be nice. Oh, I just, okay. Actually, I just did something I it, didn't... You gotta, yeah. you gotta I get it into the bell, yeah. Oh, but if I... Link's gonna move too, is the problem. Well, just leave him there, and then uh, you go to the center, and then you get. That's what this, this fucking room, man. Yeah.
Am I out of range, really? <laughs> oh my... <laughs> There you go. Oh, you... Okay, well, it's fine. You just go forward and then finish the, finish the fight. I feel like they could have conceivably come up with a better control me mechanism for this item. What did that do? Uh, something. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. That's how you could have, uh... That opened the, the way out. I think that's that's how that <laughs> Oh, they're he's like teleporting. I guess. Yeah. yeah, you're bringing him here, so oh we can so we're bringing him to where the, the wolf said says that he what used to be once upon a time. Okay. So take, take, take me home. Country roads to the place where I was from. Different song, but sure. West Termina. Oh my god. Oh, you're gonna have to bring him down. Oh. He can't go over that tiny lip. Hey, you know what's, uh, what's better than doing like a bunch of puzzles? Doing a bunch of puzzles twice. Yeah. He's heavier than the fucking. Oh my god. And you gotta jump over there. This annoying room full of annoying nothing enemies. Oh, oh, there's more up there. I see him. More what? Okay. Uh, go back. Go back off the scale. Why? Go back off the scale. Why? Look up. Look uh look up and to the left. Down. Look left. There. Yeah. I don't need those. You're you're going to. Cause you need to get that uh, the guy. You're gonna need to move everything to the other side now and Is that how we were supposed to do that the the first time we I don't know. Ready to throw shit blind? Yeah, boy. Yeah, I guess you could move him over more. <laughs> oh, I thought they were going up. I'm too close. I uh, I underestimated Link's throwing arm. Unfortunately, I think that is too much for me to climb. Maybe. Can I climb up here? No, I cannot. <sighs> it's fine, you got it down. Stupid they can't climb stairs. Should be no. Yeah, you're gonna need those. Glad I found them. Otherwise, we would have been stuck for like a while. Okay, let's get him off. Friend. Friend. He moves so slow when I'm against a wall. Yeah. I didn't see that. Du, 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 du. Oh, 
Look at that rupee chest. Oh, I'm here. He is teleporting. Those were bells after all. Those were fucking, uh, like, high tech. There's the twilight bells. Like, like in Hat in Time. Not crazy about this uh, Unreal Tournament item select. No. It's... I mean, theoretically, it's, like, better, but honestly... It is imprecise for the layman's purposes. Oh, I should have moved him first. Wait, no, that didn't... Okay, yeah, that did open his end. I really hope this is the final stretch of this dungeon and there's not, like, an additional fucking, like, path we need to go to. Yeah. Backtrack. Only the shots that look like complete misses seem to hit. That where he that's not where he needs to go, is it? Uh why is it so janky? What the fuck? Oh well I could put one of the one of these guys on there. Let's see what this does. Oh. That seems kind of pointless, but okay. Oh, the bell's over here. Alright. No, that's where he came in from. Never mind. I assume I need to get him over this way. It's better not despawn anything. As you're running out of arrows here. Are we getting low? I was saying that that would be annoying. Oh yeah, it would. I don't know how obvious it is, but Link's speed is also decreased while doing this to match the statue's speed. Oh, I guess because like, he's only half there, like in reality. <laughs> Where are we going? This seems so fucking annoying. Just the... Do a tedium and then you gotta escort a statue back. This... This sucks. All the way through the beginning of the temple. Imagine there were multiple branches, and we had to do this with several statues. We did have to do that in Tower of the Gods, but those were much shorter branches. Yeah. Um. I don't, I don't even remember Wind Waker's uh, dungeons being this tedious. No. I, I feel like the dungeons are just going to get longer with each Zelda game. Except Breath of the Wild doesn't have very many or any, does it? Uh, Breath of the Wild's uh, dungeons... There's only... Their dungeons are more open, and, uh, yeah, I actually, I actually like them a lot. Where are you now, buddy? I think this is, uh, I think we're nearing the, uh, I hope we're nearing the end. This is, oh, we're, we're gonna be in the corkscrew area. It's the most fun room in the dungeon. 
Okay, I, I know what we gotta do. We gotta get him on the uh, on this, get it down, and then lead him off on the bottom floor. Does this go up or only down from here? Well, there's the bell we're going to. Either you can go one more time, or you're just gonna have to, like, make him walk off the, uh... Oh! Hey! There we go. What's with this? Go higher, camera. So this is the guy that, uh, that was going to be on the other side. The guy what? This is the statue that was, like, on the other side, so... I guess. Like, wrong way. What do you think the process was of getting him to that part of the dungeon? Someone had to set this up. Or maybe somebody was like, hey, what are we guys supposed to do with this guy? We'll go to the repair shop. But that's on the other side of the temple! Well, you better... You better hurry up! And then, and then that fucking asshole Dark Nut just... He's just like, I'm that... He's just like, I'm, I'm keeping him. He was the one who fixed him up, and he's just like, I'm never letting him go. Darn. Okay, let's confirm where we're going before we do anything. Uh, that is a way out, but it's blocked by a gate. This is gonna be annoying. I could go down with him, but it is safer to do this. Yeah, I get you. You're right. Gameplay. <laughs> yes, it certainly is a game that's being played in front of us right now. <sighs> this is my remote control toy robot. The signal strength gets a little weak if I'm far away. Oh, what happened? Out of You're range? Out of range. Yeah, the Wi-Fi can only go so far. Watch a 20 rupee treasure chest appear for killing all these. I can't get out except by going up to the top again. Well, at the top, but then they'll layer up. I just need to go down to where he's at. That's all I need to do. Hello, friend. You can smash this, right? I don't need to, like, do a switch. Good. That was a keese or a bad bat. <laughs> well, now what? Oh. <laughs> I'd say you get out. It's all coming together. Oh, it goes fast downstairs. Hey, 
Spider, come here. Did you hurt? Did you hurt yourself with the? I don't think so. I got the spider. Are we at the entrance again yet? We appear to be. Finally, we're almost done with this godforsaken dungeon. What was the... There was one of the lifty platforms. How did we activate that? Uh... Are we supposed to? There's just ramps. Well, we gotta get him up this to get him up to where the statue was, right? Uh, no, I thought the statue was, like, in front of the door. Like, yeah, oh, it's on yeah. the other side. Well, you don't even need the ramp. We good? You happy? We done? We move along now. We've unlocked the second half of the dungeon. Oh, God, fucking not be this. <laughs> uh, well, so this is, is an interesting room. This is like that one fucking joke. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Okay, that's simple enough, I guess. You don't even get it exactly. Just throw it over there and use a control rod to just... What joke were you talking about? The, uh, in Portal 2, the, uh, the, uh, trailer for the, the, uh... Oh, wasn't you fast to... enough. Don't try it again. I mean, I don't want you to try to reset the room by going through that dumb gauntlet. It was like the, uh... I'm trying to remember... It was the co-op, uh, trailer, where, at the very end, where it's like, go through it or else... And it was just a series of just really insane traps. Okay, now, you do the walk off. There you go. We don't have a key, do we? <laughs> no! It's a, it's a boss door? What do we. What do we. Look, I d hope it was close. Are you really gonna like not? Uh, I mean, what what do you try to wander? You're gonna wander around to, until you find it. Some of these were like rupee chests too. We just kind of. You know what? I'm. I am not. I am not a patient man. Just gonna I, look up where the boss key is. Yeah, I'm doing that. Good. It's the Temple of Time. Is the dungeon? Twilight Princess, Temple of Time, boss key. Go to the room with the scale, throw three metal pots into one side, so the other side rises up high, stand on the high one, and claw shot to the Slow target down. above. What was the first thing? The room of the scale. Good room. Well, okay. Alright. <clears throat> At, At least we're not we're escorting a statue that shouldn't take too long. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let me know when you're there. I'm, I'm gonna contemplate the meaning of existence. This game. Uh, 
The other game had a Temple of Time, Maple Story. It was even grindier than this, but at least it had good music. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh no, bad bats. I guess I didn't destroy this particular door. I should have. Maybe it regenerated. Conceivably? This is but this is something that like a lot of kids must have experienced in like uh, Ocarina, right? Is getting to the end of the dungeon and just not having the boss key. And you're just like you just let out a giant fuck. I don't remember if that ever happened to me as a kid, or if I just I, I I've been playing the game so long I just know where everything is at this point. Yeah, and, the, and that tricks you into thinking the game's good, because I have figured it out. Why can't you? Now, uh... Where was the scale room? It The dungeon is linear. You'll get to it at some point. Eventually. I think it's past here, if I'm going to be completely honest. Well, I remember we had to bring the thing over the scale. And we had to come through this room to do it. Wasn't, uh... Wind Waker had the pots. That would have made... That would have been very convenient here. What, is, what oh, yeah. does Uku do? Where he teleports you back to the beginning of the dungeon. <gasps> I guess we could use that to get yeah, that'll, that'll, this. Yeah, that'll... Yeah. I was gonna say, it, it'd be nicer if we had multiple warp points in the dungeon, like Wind Waker. Yeah, alas. Um, the uh, Magic Mirror in Link to the Past kind of fulfilled that role. It was actually necessary at one point. Uh, Did you ever play A Link Between Worlds? I did not. Um, I kind of want to, but uh, I just I was consoleless at that time. I was getting fully into PC gaming, which from you, a just you still don't have a 3DS, right? I I never got a 3DS. I wonder how well your computer would run Citra. I, 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 get a lot of I tried. I tried it with the uh, Sun Moon, oh, and, yeah? uh, and it worked just fine. Yeah. I had to get a lot of uh, processing power for mine. I think mine just didn't have a good enough CPU until I upgraded. That sucks. Aren't escort missions great? <clears throat> Um, there was one, uh, weird, uh, Ukrainian game. It was the same one where the guy opened up with, uh, uh with that weird speech that's, that sounded Tommy Wiseau-ish. It was that same game, and apparently had a, a, uh, escort mission that didn't remotely suck because the guy could actually keep up with you and also take out some enemies. That, that's nice. So I'm in yeah. the scale room. Oh, you're in the scale room. Cool. Uh, so, throw three metal pots onto one side so the other side rises up high. Stand on the high one and claw shot to the target above. So look up. Yeah, I, 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 I gotcha. I wouldn't have even th thought about, like, doing this, honestly. There's no one looks up in video games. No one looks up in video games. That's uh, so three. easy to miss. Yeah. <laughs> even like, if we didn't have a guide, even knowing to come back to this room. 
I don't know how long that would would have taken me. So get your spinner out because you're gonna need to use that on that track, and then uh, uh, go through the door, and uh, the rest should be simple from there. Just if you looked up at any point in this room, you'd notice there was like a ledge up here, but. There's a treasure chest on the map. I think we're... That's not it, though. That's not the key. No, I know it's not it, but... I want to get them 20 rupees. You want to check to see if it's 20 rupees, and then be like, oh, it's 20 rupees, and then you leave. It's even worse because he puts them back. Like, that's not a benefit. That makes it worse. Because the chest is still there on the map. You don't want to, uh... want to be wasteful. Yeah, you don't want to do that. That's wasteful. You don't want to be wasteful, do you? Oh, those are Helmosaurs. How'd you take him out before? Bombs? Helmosaurs? That's what the that's what the guy called them. Stab oh, him in the ass! Ah, oh, they're, they're one weak point. Stab me in the ass! Oh, and then, uh... Well, that guy could take, be taken out with a ball and chain. Yeah, that was the guy I was focused on. Surely they must have realized this was possible. <sighs> Who's gonna experiment like that? It's kind of innocent, like, uh... So you opened up... Yeah, there you go. Now, uh, that's not the key. 20 rupees. There's four switches up there. Press them down. I, I can see that. I, th I think we're good now with the guide. I'll let you know if I need it again. Okay. That wasn't a guide. It was just a frequently asked questions. Oh. The guy uh, said, I can't find the boss key. And he used, like, a whole bunch of exclamation points to, like, get, his, to get, like, get it across. If only I could pick up the rupee chest and set it on one of these switches. Uh... Is there only two up there? There's only two up here. The... Don't the tell me, don't it. tell me. <laughs> How are you gonna get it up there? That's the question. <gasps> Wait, there's holes on it, right? There are. You thinking what I'm thinking? No, I'm not. What are you thinking? So go up there and try and try claw shotting him. That's stupid. <laughs> you don't think it's gonna work? It's gonna work. It's still stupid. <laughs> are they really too close now? I uh, just. There you go. All right, it's gonna. I'm gonna pull it up and it's gonna fall off. Okay. <laughs> That's why those they had those uh, enemies there, so you could solve the puzzles. Good thing they were there too. Otherwise, this would be an impossible puzzle, and Link would have to go home. Hey, Link! Whatever happened to that quest to save Hyrule you were on? <sighs> Temple of Time. I just I decided to come home and be a farmer instead. Alright, now use that dumb thing to get back to the... This is Crossover the only fan fiction. Ilya in Paradigm City. The city of amnesia. <laughs> okay. So, you, okay. I, 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 I did... I don't... I kind of dropped off the series because, because of history, but... Uh, but you know they've made a sequel to a Monster Girl Quest, right? Uh, I, I... I was aware of the RPG Maker one. Yeah. It was all it was like a sequel slash remake? Was uh it like a new timeline or something? It. Yeah. Um that's what I heard about it. Uh I don't apparently it's more RPG than story. So it's what, what does that mean? 
it, it it means exactly what it says on the tin. There's like there's like mechanics. There's apparently crafting. There's like you can recruit mod like uh like monster girls to be a part of your party and they can fight too. What wasn't the story what everyone liked about the first one though? Yeah, yeah, the story. That's that's exactly. Why aren't you using the warp? Oh yeah. I I don't know. I I don't want to touch that thing. Oh, you can come back to the same point in the dungeon, too. Oh, really? Oh, so that's not really useful then for our purposes. I really hope it, did, it doesn't reset the entire fucking dungeon. Better not. Yeah, if you want to meet me at the entrance rather than warping here, just go there and I'll meet you. What if we just fucked ourselves? Who conceived <laughs> of this creature? Um... Whoever conceived of this game. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, turn around. We're gonna walk in, and there's gonna be no statue on the left. And if that happens, let's just end the stream. Well, Twilight Princess was fun. Slash S. Darn. Nope. Doesn't have a hole in the center. Only works if it has a hole in the center. I wonder if this is where the Temple of Light would have been in uh, Ocarina. I guess this is our hint. Yeah. Hello? No, wait, no! Okay. I thought it was gonna auto-warp me to the place that I no, used it. No, then you would have used the other... I guess the entrance was... Well, the good news is that the guy... Hold on, you're going the wrong way again. I thought I was going back up uh, those steps, aren't I? No! The, the entrance to the boss key is behind you. Okay. We're... Yeah, that door. The door you spent the entire dungeon trying to get open. You're right, you're right. <laughs> this dungeon brainwashed you, I swear. Oh, there's a laser. Yeah, go through the gauntlet. Why, why is the Temple of... This is a sacred place. Why does the Temple of Time have, like, death traps everywhere? To, to uh, guard against the unworthy. I just want to get away from those lasers. Uh, the final guards. So is this going to be like an ancient mystical creature, or is it just going to be a giant bug? Uh, giant... I'm going to guess giant bug. Because the temp, the enemies of this temple have all been giant bugs. It's going to be... It's going to be a dumb fucking insect. <laughs> Probably should have saved. I haven't done that all stream. Power goes out. We're going to have to do this again. And we're going to be like, oh no... Well, Twilight Princess was fun. You know what I should do? After this, I should go to the bar and save. Yeah, just just go there and just save and then... Called it. Yep, giant fucking Well, technically insect. it's not an insect, but... It just gets Goma. Armogoma. Ar 
Armogoma. Twilight I'm Arachnid. I'm back and I'm armored as fuck. Like, you, you, you gotta use a slick shot to take out its eye. But it's armored this time. Probably is gonna want us to use the Dominion Rod. Are we gonna squash the giant spider? Smash oh, it great. with a hammer! I'm a. Where's a nasty Nork? Hey, open up. Oh, he's gonna drop down. There's no? light here. Oh. Oh, it can do that now. Ah! Oh. Oh, it's like, uh, it's amplifying the light. I see it. So a slingshot is not... Okay, yeah. No. I, it would have been a cool reference, but no. Slingshot just kind of became useless. That's yeah. a shame. Go on, go over your little light fixture. Okay, now you use a statue to squash it. Where's the statue at? Uh, over there. Out of range. What? What'd you do? I, I hit the B button by mistake. Oh, well, try it again. All right, do your shit. It's like the it's like the gecko fight, or he's on the ceiling in Majora. This is one of them uh, famed Wind Waker boss battle themes. Right. There you go. Doesn't even move. Don't need to. Just. Okay, is he gonna? Oh, he's on the ground again. And there he goes. This just feels. What was great about like the original, like the N64 ones, is that you, sometimes you actually felt like you were fighting them. Like this, like Zelda relies a lot on puzzle bosses, and I just. You had multiple ways to approach the Deku Tree Doma, sort of. Uh, I... Yeah. If you were smart, you could use Deku Nuts to stun her. I like Those options. lasers should hurt the, the, the babies. No, it, it rec the laser recognizes, uh, recognizes it's young and it knows uh, about friendly fire, or they are adapted. And now it's gonna spit more out. No? No, it's, it's gonna be nice to you. Big fist. Do I have anything good for clearing large numbers of enemies? I got the spinner, or I got the ball and chain. Spinner and ball, or, and or ball and chain would probably work. Or bombs. <laughs> or, or the Gale Boomerang. Got options. Yeah, here. What? You can't, what? can't even <laughs> hurt me. It, all, it can only use its laser, otherwise it's... It has a laser and it has babies. Oh, really? No, I thought... The original Goma I could do that with. Okay, and use a spinner. Yeah! It's kind of mean, actually. It's like a drive-by. Get him, Smoke! Oh no, man, I'm eating my food! Hello! Oh. At least you got him, uh, like, fairly quickly. Okay. Here. I'm on the thing. I'm on the Beyblade. I didn't mean to be. Okay, that's gotta be it, right? Or is there a second form? It's probably a second form. This is where the armor comes off. No? That was about as complex as the Gecko mini boss fight. That was too. Oh. Oh, it turned into a another uh, boss. Strike the eye for massive damage. So it was piloting a fucking mecha this entire time. 
Can the attack actually spin you up, speed you up, or? Okay. I don't think that speeds me up. Maybe the arrow will help. Nah. Yeah, shoot, shoot him with an arrow. All right. We're saying, like. Good fight. That was lame. <laughs> like, remember? Goma was our first boss. Goma was the tutorial boss and was less lame than that. I can take you on. Oh no, I'm getting my ass beaten. To be fair, though, if we didn't have the fucking, uh... The Dominion Rod? Yeah, then this boss would have been nigh impossible. I'm glad, I'm glad, though, that, uh... We inch ever closer. You saw how nasty that monster was just because it was a spider? It wasn't that bad. We could be assembling something truly terrible here. Yeah? It all depends on what wish we make on the sacred jewel, whether it's good or evil. We have to reach the sky! We have to send your sword skyward. Okay, but those arrows, though. Where'd they go? Oh. They're far the, the heart container also warped over here. No, no! Ah! Yeah. We can, leave, we can leave Uku. I'll be fine here. You are fine. I'm home! I am... I am with my people. Maybe it's not one. Maybe it's a whole race of Ukos, and we're just, like, making homes for them. They're gonna That'd inhabit nice. all the temples after this. That would actually be really nice. I would, I would really... That makes me happy to think about. They can shut themselves away from the world, never to be seen by human eyes. So, uh, yeah, that, 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 that certainly was a dungeon. That was not my favorite dungeon. Can't wait to be unimpressed by the next one. The last one! The last one was... The, the house. It was yeah. at least an interesting premise. Oh, yeah, it was an interesting premise, uh, and the uh, puzzles weren't too annoying. It felt open. This one was just... Linear, like you... backtracking, yeah. escort mission. It was rough. It was very rough. Oh, hello again. Uku sees what she was looking for. Goodness, yes, it's the Dominion Rod you found in the temple. That thing has been around for quite some time. I can see from here that its magic has been exhausted. What am I to... I thought at last I could return to the sky. Okay. There's a spell that will bestow it with magic. I suppose I'll ha just have to look for the statues that respond to the rod. The Triforce statues. Triforce statues? You know, the one that you're like, I, I should be doing something with this. Oh, it had a hole in it, that's right. Yeah. It, wait, it took it? Turning to the sky. Oh no! Oh no! We have to go through an extra quest to restore magic to the rod. We gotta find the treasure chest to uh, to reassemble the Triforce pieces so we can get access to the final dungeon. I don't know about the Triforce pieces. Uh, well, how far was that one? That was in the Lost Woods, wasn't it? That one was in the Lost Woods. Yes. How do we get back there? Do we have to warp? Uh, no, we can just leave. We can just fucking leave the the. How? The way we came. That's the way we came. Is it? All right, fine. Warp then. I guess. I want to go to that one statue, the the one we talked about, just because we'll fucking forget if we don't. Sacred Grove. 
I guess we want to go to the grove. Is that here? Oh, uh, this was, yeah, this here. Okay. Different warp point. I'm surprised if there's not a way to, like, go back from, uh, just from that location. <sighs> what did we learn about this game? Stupid bridge again. <laughs> oh, Not there's the crusty old Dominion Rod. What did you do to the Dominion Rod? Chicken. Don't die. Arise. <laughs> So, uh, you know the guy who did the, uh, uh, interesting and odd places and these, and like these games, and also the, uh, unemployment rate calculator? Yeah. He wants to a stream where the entire goal was to get a, uh, cuckoo in Breath of the Wild from a starting location all the way into, uh, Death Mountain's, like, crater. Which is, I assume, a very late part of the game? I, I. Okay. Here, considering how the game. We can't do anything with this, can we? Try a... Uh... No. Consider... Considering that uh, that the game's pretty much open, and you can just you just got to work towards where you want to go, um, I, I wouldn't necessarily consider it late game. I would consider it high high challenging. Nope. Nothing. Do you think we should save here, or should we save at the bar? Save at the bar. Let's not fucking deal with that way we'll be there and we'll be like hey let's just look at the fucking map so we always forget to look at the map hopefully that's what triggers the next part it, it, this isn't where they suddenly change it and like oh no actually you need to talk to Uku in this spot to progress the story then we just like go uh, motherfucker Hey, Link! Tell... Is it gonna be... Every single time, after every chapter, we gotta meet Mr. Postman. Yeah. Hello. It's a letter from Renato. Who? Yeah, what does he have to say? Have we been checking our mail? We just get the, le the letters and we were just like, Hey, that's weird, okay. Oh, we can read it? Yeah. We've not been reading our letters. Rare item in stock at Barnes & Noble. Got some interesting bombs in, so come on and pick some up. Wife of Yito. I you feel me. bad. You paid me visit, and I not much help. I feel better now. Husband and I sled lots. Much fun. Then... Oh, it's the native guy. Native Hylian. Oh, are these all side quests and shit? Please come visit me in my sanctuary in Kakariko Village. Something about Ilya's memory. Oh, man, we're gonna forget that next time. Yeah, ironically enough. I should watch the stream before we decide to do, like, Zelda again. We just need to- just write, I need to write down notes. We need notes for this game, like, like an NES Zelda. That's how we were, the game was meant to be played. Next time, uh, something to do with Uku. 
Uh, visit Renato for uh, Ilya's memory. Oh, we should also... Uh, I feel like we should visit Mallow Mart. We haven't been there, like, all game long. No, we... And the bomb The thing store. is, it's weird that, like, because this game, we just are, like... We're both just incredibly checked out on it. This game just has nothing. Not a lot to offer us as Zelda fans. No. We we'll also check out the bomb, whatever's new in the bomb shop. I'm sure it'll be yeah. completely frivolous and not worth buying, but uh, I don't know. You know, might as well just check it. You never know. If this were an older Zelda game, they wouldn't send us a letter about it unless it was important. Yeah, I know, right? No. You, you sound so, like you're falling asleep. I'm, I'm sorry, this game is not... I I stopped playing this game for a reason because I didn't find it very interesting. Yeah. There, no, I, I, don't, I don't blame you. I just, I, I'm just like, this whole game is just so dreary and depressing, and I, and I suffer from depression, it's like, this is not helping me. Majora, Majora's Mask, I would, I, like, go back to, and Link to the Past go back to, because they, they have, their vibes, like, uh, like, gel with me more, they don't make me, it doesn't even make me feel sad, because if I was feeling sad, that'd be one thing, I'd have, like, an emotional release and cry or something, but it's not even that, it's just, like, numbing I'm going to anticipate like two or three more streams, but we'll see. Maybe Sonic tomorrow. We'll see if we're up to stream anything. But uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. See Thanks. you next time. See you next time.